Hey guys, it's TK Slider here, and today I actually have a deck profile. It is not in person, unfortunately, guys, because this deck probably costs over $500 at least, minimum. I have to recount that. But guys, the deck profile, I, as you can see in my title, is Volcanic Dogmaticas. Dogmatica, Volcanics, either or, they're both adjectives. But I was thinking, guys, about how to make Volcanics the best deck it can possibly be in 2020 meta in Yu Gi Oh! today. And a pure variant's cool, but it has very limited stuff. All it can do is stun, can't really do anything on the second turn. So what engine could I add to Volcanics that doesn't need their normal summon, because you have your normal summon is primarily Volcanic Rocket, but that can still push and excel this deck further, right? Back many formats ago, it was Sky Strikers that had Volcanic Sky Strikers. That was, deck was so fun to play. Unfortunately, a lot of their cards are now limited slash banned. In today's format, is now Dogmaticas, and that's why this deck costs so much money, and that's why I'm here at Edda Pro today. They have so much explosive power, they can definitely stun your opponent by removing cards from their extra deck, they can get free searches, they can have extreme damage on board in the battle phase, it's so fun. I've been playing Invoke Dogmatica and I realized that it, it, it can definitely work with Volcanics here. So for my deck profile, let's just do Volcanics first guys. We have 3 Rocket, 3 Scattershot, and 3 Shell. The best Volcanic cards, I removed a bunch of the dead weight, low key. Um, a lot of the sun, sun cards have been removed, as you can see with these limited trap cards. But I'm running 3 Rocket is your best normal summon in this deck, besides probably Ecclesia, but you'd rather special summon her. This gets you um, 2 Blades, Accelerator, Leroy's. I deleted 1 because the chance, of, the chance of you getting 3 in this deck is probably not that much. Rocket's your main normal summon. You like Scattershot at 3, 1, because you need to add 3 to order, in order to activate its effect. But it's a Regeki. Anytime during your opponent's turn, you can banish Reload from the graveyard. You can activate Reload, send Scattershot. That's 1,500 points of damage. So what what's great about Scattershot in today's format is that it's a Regeki that you can control and whenever you want during your opponent's turn, especially only during the main phase. And it does 15 point, 1,500 life points of damage. And life points of damage actually matter, especially when you're playing IRL Yu-Gi-Oh!, but low key, the 1500 is very nice when you're really pushing with Dogmatica cards. Lastly, you're running three Volcanic Shell. Volcanic Shell, guys, is so fun because not only does it give you card advantage through reload, but it also allows you to just use it as card material, hand material. You can free, use it as free discards because Forbidden Droplet. Um, you can discard cards with Forbidden Droplet. You can discard cards with other means. I forget which. I think Shadal Ruck or Shadal Schism using the Dogmatic Engine. But just getting card advantage for free, allowing you to have many uses for Bidden Drop, it's a really fun key card. You can then you also use it as a, basically an Alistair to the Invoker without having um, the Fusion Play Invocation, but you can normal summon it, make Link a Rebo, and send Link monsters to activate, in order to activate Maximus um, turn 1. For the Dogmatica cards, we're running, here's my lineup right now. I'm running 3 Float Elise, 1 Maximus, 3 Ecclesia, obviously 3 Nadir Servant, and then 2 Dragon Punishment. So if you guys don't know what Ecclesia does, she cannot be destroyed by a monster, especially someone from the extra deck. That's a very familiar uh, theme in Dogmaticas. But you can special summon it when there is an uh, extra deck monster on the field. But when it is normal or special summon, you can then add any Dogmatica card, right? And a lot of their Dogmatic effects, you can't access to the extra deck, which is fine because you'll mainly be accessing the extra deck before you do any of your Dogmatica cards. And it's Volcanic, so they don't have an extra deck to begin with, so that's, which, is, which is super great with Dogmatica and the Volcanic Engine. That's why they go hand-in-hand hand together. Florida Elise is awesome because, again, you can special summon it during the main phase. If there is an extra deck monster in the field, that's either main phase, by the way, so you can activate summon it on your opponent's turn. And which, what's great about it is that if there's another Dogmatica card on the field, or if you control another Dogmatica monster, actually, you can then negate a card, which is super great because it actually negates upon resolution of the summon so like it's really tricky Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro does it for me or Edda Pro does it for me which is really cool and then when you attack or when any Dogmatica monster attacks all your Dogmatica monsters gain 500 attacks so then he's at 2500 right now you just start boosting really hard and that's one of the main reasons that's one of the main weaknesses Volcanics had is weakness to the battle phase one because you had 1900 attack as a which is a good beat stick but then loses to everything else this guy makes you guys really beefy and maximus is probably the one of the coolest cards in dogmatica i only run one of it right now i can definitely see this card bump up the two but we're running 41 cards right now so we're running out of space it's sort of tight but you can banish it by basically banishing an extra deck monster and then during your main phase you can send two extra deck cards to the graveyard to send to also have your opponent send two extra card extra deck cards to the graveyard as well which is great because your extra deck has cards that basically profit off of 
monsters being sent to the graveyard, right? And also running three Ash, three Veiler, and then three Impermanence. I tried running a lot of hand traps just because I am running two Pot of Abras, which is sort of sus right now. Uh, we'll see about ratios later on, but hand traps are great. Um, also, Nadir Servant, by the way. Nadir Servant allows you to send a monster from the extra deck to the graveyard, add a Dogmatica monster. You can't summon monsters from the extra deck, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't matter, which is great about that because you get effects of sending monsters to the graveyard. Adding one is uh, exquisite as well, along with Dragma Punishment, Dogmatica Punishment. Talk at one face of monster your opponent controls. You basically destroy a monster as well, and then get that a card effect happening when it's sent to the graveyard. I run three Foolish Burial Goods because you want to see Reload into the graveyard as much as possible. Having this turn one is awesome, which we'll see later on in the duel. But having a Reload in graveyard allows a Rageki whenever you want. It's basically just another out. Treat it as like a hand trap, but Foolish Burial Goods sends Reload to the graveyard. Then you have a Scatter Shot live and ready to go. I'm running two Pot of Avarice because I really want to reset my Scatter Shot. It's probably the main Volcanic Engine. You you'll be having a bunch of monsters sent to the graveyard. You do not want to see this at all um as you as your starting turn but i ran two just because it's definitely it's definitely live a majority of the game it should be live especially after your first turn and three forbidden droplet this card again is the new wave guys it's so good for what it does you have so many cards that you just want to be in the graveyard reload wants to be in the graveyard shell wants to be in the graveyard it works so well with volcanics to begin with because you have a bunch of cards that you don't need you have so much card advantage and the fact that it stops boards you can't you can't respond to it if you send a monster which you have shells so much it's such a great card there's a reason it costs like what 90 dollars right now it's insane that's why this deck is on editor pro guys um i have the impermanence i have the dragma punishment dogmatica punishment we have the Shadal Schism, the new card again coming out of Rise of the Duelists. I'd like this entire deck out of Rise of the Duelists. But it allows you to basically summon out Winda or Construct during your opponent's turn, which is great. Um, it allows extra plays. And then three Reload. The extra deck, guys, this is sort of standard. I'm pretty sure it's like, at least the Dogmatica stuff is pretty standard. We run the three Construct, three um, Titanic Lad, fun name to say. One Apcolome and one Winda. You send Apcolone to get your Shadal Rook, you send that to the graveyard, and then you send Constra to go get it back, and then you summon Winda off the Construct and the Apcolone in the graveyard or the Titanic Lab. It gives you a free Winda, so free free like limiting your opponent's special summons. It's pretty crazy. Um, and can't be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Classic Winda. I'm also running three Natis. Natis, Elder Enter the and test whatever what you guys like to call it but whenever it's sent to the graveyard guys you can just pop a card so with the dogma dog dogmatica punishment guys you can basically get two pops on, on for most of the time because the test is 2500 attack points so if your opponent has a monster less than 2500 attack points you can just send the test i run the psi frame or mega because again you'll be activating these cards a lot and he basically recycles i actually couldn't think of another one omega's fine here Nova's for the mirror match, just in case I said I need to send monsters too. I can just send Nova. Um, you know what's funny, guys? I have Nova in here, but I don't. I don't have a single target for Nova. Usually, when you're running invoked, um, well, we can, you can place this later on. <laughs> we can, or we can probably take Omega out and add Macaba. We could probably do that, but guys, Nova does not have a target, so I probably should add one. As for the Link monsters, I have Anima, Almirage, Link, Rebo, and Secure Gardener. This is basically very much like um, Invoked uh, Dogmatica. I basically copied and pasted. But you can use Shell to summon Karibo. If not, worst comes to worst, you summon any one of your guys. Summon one of these, makes Secure Gardener. So then you can have a Link monster in the graveyard, which you can use for Maximus. Guys, I would really like to show you a replay because if you guys don't know what Dogmatica does, it's pretty insane. The Volcanic part is just a cool aspect of it. It's honestly not a Volcanic deck, but it still does a lot of the things that you love to see in Volcanic. So let's just get into that replay right now. All right, guys, we're back in the replay. You can call this an editor pro quickie because it's going to be real fast. This hand, guys, is awesome. You have an Ash Blossom. I'm going first, by the way. Ash Blossom is great for going second. Your Foolish Burial Good sets up your reload turn one. You have Nadir to not only send an extra deck monster, but then to search so you can get your combo off. You have Shell as a resource, a hand resource, and you have Forbidden Droplet. Great for going second. This hand's perfect for going second, second or going first. I'm going first here. I then summon Shell. So I'm summoning Shell just to get cards into the extra deck, uh, into the graveyard from the extra deck. You, it's very important to summon Shell first instead of acting the deer serum because again it locks you out of the extra deck we're gonna make all mirage into secure gardener 
I'm just gonna leave this out in the, uh, leave this out in the extra monster zone. It, I'm not gonna link summon anymore, so it's the fact that it can't be link summon doesn't really matter. But all it matters is all mirage in the graveyard. And again, I can get another shell because shell is free, right? That right. The dear servant, I'm gonna send the Apclone to get a search. Also get the Maximus. Send Shell. So guys, usually you should be sending Shadal Schism and then Concert will get back the Schism. This case, I just wanted to cycle through my deck more, so I sent out Shell to get another Shell for free. <laughs> so, because that's Volcanics of Volcanics you guys. Pish Almirage, Summon Maximus. I send to you, again you send the, uh, the, Tita the Titanoclad and the Construct. Um, I've been foolish very good to set the reload up, guys. End phase, Titanoclad is going to get a search. Or a special summon. Special summons. Um, Ecclesia. Ecclesia is then going to get a um, Fleur de Lis. Guys, this is actually so strong. Because I'm going to be summoning out a Shadal monster. Shadal Winda. I have... This monster can be destroyed by special summon monsters in battle. I already messed up his extra deck. I have a Reload in the Graveyard. An Ash Blossom in hand. A Forbidden Droplet with a Shell in hand. And a... And Fort Fort Lewis is so great because when you can negate a special summon monster, right? Actually, no. You can negate a monster effect just by special summoning it, right? And I have the Secure Gardener too, which is great. He does Miscellaneous Swords. Okay, I'm just going to make my Shadal Window right now. He activates that. I Ash that. I mean, I could have done that because that would be his one special summon that turn. He then sets the Miscellaneous Swords. I get my free Fleur de Lis summon. And guys, it's already over because I can activate... I'm like, okay. actually no, I activate reload. So I could have activated drag, uh, Maximus Effect again, setting the Tiss to get the pop off. You know what? I'm gonna actually just scatter shot him because one foolish bear of goods allows me to send a reload to graveyard, and then it's already over, guys. I have so much power. I had so much damage on board. It's actually disgusting. Again, this deck is hard carried by Dogmatic. Cause I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna mention it. Like all the, this entire board. It's straight up that mana because I just use Shell and Scatter Shot as a resource. But again, you can definitely see what this is coming from. Like, you can summon out your Volcanic Rocket, get your Reload going, get your cards going. But then you can also then Special Summon out, or Number Summon out Ecclesia, get all these cool card effects. Guys, you don't need your extra deck for Volcanics. You don't need your Normal Summon for Dogmatica. That's why Dogmatica, Volcanics, Volcanic Dogmatica is a great deck. I would love to see what y'all think in the comments. But I think that's it, guys. TK Slider out. What's up, guys?